Good evening from College Park, Maryland. Maryland barely makes it 72-70. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner. Guests Jimmy Roberts and Bruce Posner. Bruce, take it away. Jimmy, it's like when you have a three-stroke lead on the last <laughs> hole. I could put the first one in the water, right? He did not look. That was, let's just say, a win is a win is a win. But um, that was an ugly win. A trap game, a classic trap game, sandwiched between Illinois and Michigan State. And they look so bad, I, I can't even describe it. But, but in the end, you know, what impresses me is that in the end, Jalen Smith made the play of the game. That's what your big players, when you have big players play big games in a big spot. And that's what he did, that defensive play at the end. However it happened, we're still in first place. Yeah. And, and that's, I guess, in the end, what matters. But a bit of a collapse. Maryland was almost got it running away there, and then the wheels came off the bus. If Nebraska was a little bit more experienced, a little bit better, maybe they actually pull this off. I, I can't describe it, but you know what? It's a W. It's over. And I got to hit you with a couple golf questions. Okay. Right. Questions of Tiger as the coach. How strong was he in that? At uh, the President's Cup. Yes. Well, I think that from what I understand in the locker room, he just said, you know, it's not a problem. We're we're just not going to lose this. Were you yeah. upset when he shot himself out? Nah, not at all. I mean, I listen. I, I think that he knew better than anybody else. And listen, the, the proof was with the final score. I mean, it worked out just fine. It worked out just fine. One more quickie. Mm -hmm. Phil is refusing to take a sponsor's exemption. Yeah. Why? It's no disgrace to take an exemption. No, it's not. But I think that his feeling at this point is that he wants to earn it, mm -hmm. and especially because he thinks he can still win. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that he, my guess would be, is that he would feel as if, you know, were he to get in and were he to win, you know, it's just such an important thing to him. It's the last, um, it's the last credential in a in a um, in a Grand Slam. I think that he might feel that it was somehow tainted. Did anyone ever win a major with a sponsor's exemption? I don't think so. Well, first of all, first of all, uh, the master. It's not there sponsors. Is, it's a well. It's right. It's right. a special invitation. Right. I, you know, I don't have the answer to that. There have been qualifiers at the U.S. Open who have won. Right. Um, sectional qualifiers, no local qualifiers. But um, I, I don't know the answer to that. You know, the Masters invites whomever they would like to invite. Um, there's a qualifying procedure. Well, there's actually a qualifying procedure for the Masters as well. Top 50 in the world, uh, as well as PGA Tour winners. But I, I don't know the answer to that offhand. Okay. Uh, so, I would think not, though. So what brings you to Xfinity Center? I'm a Terp. I there know you're a Terp, a Terp not but only why am I tonight a above all other nights? Well, my son is also a sophomore here at Maryland, and, uh, you know, I had a, a little bit of extra time, and I thought, you know what, I hadn't had a I, – I saw Maryland play Seton Hall uh, in New Jersey earlier in the year, but I haven't been to Xfinity yet this year, and I thought, you know what, I'm probably not going to get a chance because my work schedule is going to be picking up over the next month or so. So this was, uh, you know, you the one spot on the way calendar. To a final four, though, I think. Listen, I got news for you. They end up in the final four. I'll be there. I was at the, you know, the 2002 championship game in Atlanta. So I'm their good luck charm. That's the way I'm looking at it. All right. We thank you so much for coming on. All right. My All pleasure. Right. My All pleasure, right. guys. Thanks. Good to be with you. And as always, go Terps. That's what All I'm right. talking about. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right. We'll right. be back with the big dog himself. The Jackers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Back in a sort of quiet Xfinity Center for a 72-70 win over Nebraska. Do we win? Do we win? It doesn't really feel Rich, like a win. We win. You know, when you look at the standings and you see us going to be up, I'm hoping by two games, right? You look what happened tonight around the league. The Terps is a big win for them. It's still up by one because Penn State won and Michigan State was blowing out 
Uh, Illinois. Illinois, correct. So, hey, we're still in first. That's all that matters. All right. So how about Eric Ayala tonight? He broke out of his uh, – Don't win without him. They don't win without him. No. He broke out of his scoring slump uh, just in time. Dante, Sticks yeah. controlled the game in the first half. He had one rebound until a minute left in the second right. half. And that was his first block was the, the end of the game. Boy, what a big block. Uh, huh? Dante Scott, first career double-double. Cowan has a double-double, three Terps. Uh, Cowan's his points and assists. So got three Terps with a double-double, yet to 72. But somehow, as poorly as Nebraska shot for almost the whole night, they woke up. They woke up. Well, you know, I was telling Wayne down the wire, I don't like a zone in that situation, and I'll tell you why. Because a team can get lucky and hit some bombs, and they did. You saw that with Cross. Right. Well, you, 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 they were taking shots from 30 feet, and all of a sudden, they made two. And the game's almost on the line. Well, Maryland has some fault for this. You're up by nine against what's supposed to be uh, maybe not as highly rated as an opponent, and you can't find the say, energy. Well, say the truth, a two and ten bad team. Yeah, All right. you're supposed to have a little more uh, close this game out energy. Win by 20, get your bench in. Ricky Lindo doesn't play tonight, first time since... Since the Marquette game that Ricky doesn't play, but Shoal Muriel got some minutes. If you're going to win anything that's important, you win this game by 20. You finish the game. Well, what, Charge, did Al, what did Al Davis always say? Just win, baby. I think Charge was frustrated because all week he's preaching this team. You can't overlook Nebraska. You got to put them away early. They'll give up if you're on them early. They let them right back in the game. They had a nine-point lead in the first half. They let them back in the game again late. Nine we're point lead. 14 at one point. Right. Yeah. You oh, know well. what? We're 10 and 3. I guess you just got to look at it like 10 and that. 3. And at Michigan State. Yes. And uh, someplace you might want to visit one day. Uh, I'm going Saturday. I want to see the game. And I have to tell you, you know, I made all the flights and the hotels. I, I, I'm going to go. Right. All right. But, but they can't play like this. They no, they won't play like this. No. They, they won't play like this. So, but look at look at the positive. You get a double double from Dante Scott, right. right? First time in his career. You get a double double from Sticks. You get a double double from Callen. You get a team with a really important player on that team, and Eric Ayala is out of a scoring slump. You get that team. They take a breath of relief and they go to Michigan State and stick it to them. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com. The number one rated Maryland sports podcast. And we jump in for a mini segment with Cordell. What did you see tonight? I, I saw a lot of up and down play from Maryland. Um, I, I want to say that they were playing to the level of their competition, but I said it last week. I think this is the Maryland team that they are. You're going to get low 70s points. You don't really know who the third guy is going to be, and tonight it was Ayala. Uh, we couldn't really get much for Wiggins. I would say this was probably Anthony Cowan's worst game that I've seen him play this season. But he gets a double-double double double with he, that. He, yeah. gets, he, gets a, he still has a pretty good game, but he by his standards, I don't think it's that good. He didn't make, a, make three. a three. Didn't make a three. Worse than that was the foul shot. I mean, he yeah. doesn't miss that foul shot. And, Bruce, you said it at one point in the second half. I think today was one of the games where Anthony Cowan was maybe thinking the most that we've seen him play this year. He, normally he's been playing more fluid this year, but today you could tell the game was going through his head a little bit too much. Look, they hit the court today, Wayne, and they said there's no way we're losing. And that's why they almost lost. All right? Cowan is not... Look, we're a better team than Nebraska, but I got to tell you something: the discrepancy in talent is not as big that you can't come ready to play. Right. And I thought they were Good. flat. I'm anxious to hear what Coach Turgeon has to say. And we'll get in there as Jordan, young Terp Jordan's been saying all week: it's trap game week. You've got Nebraska this week. You've and got Northwestern, Northwestern next week. week. So it looks like Jordan was almost correct, and that'll do it for the 72-70 win over the Corn Huskers. One thing, 5.15 tomorrow, not 6 o'clock. 5.15. 5.15, Cordell and myself will be in the studio. 1,300. Wayne will CBS chime Sports in. Sports Radio. And 5.15 to 6.15 tomorrow. Good evening from College Park.